Shalom Israel. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechach Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And as you can see, man, prophecy, 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 man. There's a lot happening in these times, man. Okay? There's a lot happening in these times. One being, hey, the ramp up of World War Three. All right, the pushing of the RFID chip, which Apostle Tahar had did, um, a video, you know, based on how Elon Musk, I believe it was Elon Musk, they they, oh Neuralink, they plan they plan to integrate chips with uh uh the human brain by the by as early as next year, man. Okay. You know, you had also last year where you had, um, <clears throat> not last year, last week, Trump just sent 500 troops to Saudi Arabia. Okay. So you have many, many things that are going on, man. All right. Turkey, America's allies. All right. Just teamed up with Russia and actually bought um a couple of S-400s, man. Okay, which will make way more advanced than the uh, America's defense system of the F-35s. You know, man, so as you can see, it's locked in. You know, there's a lot going on, man. You know, there's a plague over here in America, otherwise known as the Black Plague, where there's uh, homelessness at an all-time high. All right, the Apostle Har, he just did a video today that says the U.S. knocked off Fortune 500 globalists. All right, basically meaning that the, 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 the job market is ceasing. All right, so there's a lot going on, man. You know, there's a lot going on. Now it says... um. War drums, Europe readies a naval task force as Iran threatens to secure the Strait of Hormuz. Okay, and it's a spiritualist. The source is the economic collapse, you know, which we as the watchers are telling you that this place is getting ready to fall. Which, hey, the why do you help Bashim Yahweh Shai for that, man? We tired of this shit. It says, it is funny, for decades we have never had any problems with commercial ships. Passing through the Persian Gulf, but all of a sudden, it has become a major flashpoint. Let me read that once more. For decades, we have never had any problems with commercial ships passing through the Persian Gulf, but all of a sudden, it has become a major flashpoint. As you will see, the Iranians are now warning that they plan to secure the Strait of Hormuz. And meanwhile, a plan for a European-led naval task force to confront the Iranians is rapidly coming together. The seizure of a British tanker a few days ago really rattled British officials, and they are determined to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Of course, the more the Persian Gulf region becomes saturated with military assets, the more likely it is that a mistake will happen. And it sure won't take much of a spark to start World War Three at this point. What the scriptures say. Let's get a precept real quick. Because this is all the work of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. This is all the work of the Lord, man. We're starting off with our apostles and elders. We've been telling you this, all right, for centuries, man. Joel 3 and 9, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up, beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears, let the weak say I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen, 
and gather yourselves together round about. Did the cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord? Let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which in the Hebrew is Yahweh's Shapat. Okay? Which is Yahweh's judgment, man, because all these nations are coming down to meet their judgment. All right? Like it says in 2nd Ezra, which Lord willing, we get that a little later too. 2nd Ezra is the second chapter. All right? They're going to come together and fight, and then they're going to fight the Lord. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. All right. Another one comes to my Isaiah 34 and 1. Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation is upon it, for the indignation or the righteous anger of Yahweh is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. You know, so let this continue to happen, man, for all these uh, uh, armies to be pushed out into the Middle East for their destruction, for their slaughter. Okay. So reading on today, because World War Three is going to be a nuclear war, man. You know, to where nobody, nobody wins after that, man. You watch these post-apocalyptic movies. The earth is never the same. And it won't ever be the same. All right. It won't hey, ever be inhabited by Esau Edom ever again. Okay. All right. And it's going to be to where it's to these nations demise and Israel's uh, rise. Okay. So it says today close to 20% of all the oil produced in the entire world passes through the Strait of Hormuz. And that makes it an exceeding important waterway. And that's just a snare you how about Shimi was shot laid upon the earth is oil. Okay, because here it is at one point oil was used as a, a, a cure all. And it still is. And because the world relies so heavily on oil, now hey, it's gonna bring hey, it's basically gonna bring them it, it's a snare to them. Before it was a helping to them, now it's a snare. And that makes it an exceeding important waterway. U.S. and European officials continue to stress the importance of freedom of navigation through the area. And they appear to be losing patience with the Iranians. But Iran does not intend to back down one bit on Tuesday. Iranian Deputy, Deputy Foreign Minister Abbas Arachi said that his country will use its best efforts to secure the Strait of Hormuz. The following comes from the Jerusalem Post. Iran would use its best efforts to secure the region, particularly the Strait of Hormuz, and will not allow any disturbance in shipping in this sensitive area. Arachi told French Foreign Minister Jean Vez Ledrin. So what does that mean exactly? Do the Iranians plan to keep grabbing oil tankers whenever it suits them? The seizure of the Stena and Peru push us dangerously close to war and the British government is hoping that negotiations will result in the, re in the release of that tanker. However, the British also plan to flex their military muscles in order to keep such an incident from happening again and they are calling for other European nations to join them. You know, so the Yahabashim Yahushua is making moves in the spirit, man. You know, Yahabah Shim Shah is definitely making moves to get us out of here, man. France, Italy, and Denmark, Denmark gave initial support for a British plan for a European-led naval uh, mission to ensure safe shipping through the Strait of Hormuz. Proposed, proposed after Iran's seizure of a British flag tanker, three senior EU diplomats said on Tuesday, the cautious backing at a meeting of EU envoys and Brussels contrasts Sharply with the lukewarm response shown by European allies. To a similar American call first voice at NATO in late June. When countries feared they could make U.S. Iranian tensions worse. Could this be the very beginning of a coalition of the willing? According to Reuters. 
This task force will likely include aircraft too, and that is definitely raising some eyebrows. All right, I'm going to jump down. It says, uh, meanwhile, the U.S. military is making headlines as well. In an interview with the CBS News, CENTCOM Commander General Kenneth McKenzie claimed that U.S. forces have actually shot down at least two Iranian drones last week. It says the U.S. believes it may have brought down two Iranian drones last week rather than just the one that has been reported, CENTCOM Commander General Kenneth McKenzie told CBS News. David Martin, in an interview Tuesday about the USS Boxster, the ship that took action against the drones, asked by Martin whether it was only one drone. McKenzie revealed that he believed the Boxster had engaged two drones successfully and perhaps even more. As always, it was a complex tactical picture. We believe two drones. We we believe two drones were suf- successfully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, hey, man, you see what's going on, man, through the spirit, all right? And even if you're not in the spirit, just by watching the news, you'll see what's going on, man. Okay? The scriptures say, though it tarry, wait for it, for when it shall come, it shall not tarry. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is making moves, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is making moves. Okay? This is, um... Sirach 39 and 1. And this is what we have to be focused on, man. Which all praises, hey, the water Yahabai Shimi Shai for our apostles is they push prophecy, 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 man. You know? Yeah, you know, we catch hell this, that, and the third. Hey, man, but prophecy, that's that light, man. That's that, that's that, uh, hope. You know what I'm saying? That, that, um, that we continue to follow Yahabai Shimi Shai for, for he is showing us that his words are true. Now it says, Sirach 39 and 1, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. So, hey, let us be occupied in prophecies. Like the scriptures say, let us not sleep as do others. First Thessalonians 5, I'm going to start at the top. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. The people are completely lost, completely sleep, completely in chill mode. Because, hey, they ain't that, you know, careless, YOLO, summertime spirit. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction, sudden. Okay? Sudden destruction, man. You know? And it's only a matter of time before something happens over here in America, man. Something big. All right? That'll really shake the people up. Hey, we see what happened on July 4th over there in California. Okay? So, hey, p- be prepared. You know, hey, you got uh crazy heat waves all across the world. Things are happening, man. So be prepared. Hey, something. Hey, it could be to where there's a fucking uh, her, you know, earthquake that could hit this place. Who knows? And when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. I shall upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the light nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Okay, let us watch and be sober. Be, you know, on our watch, man. As the watches of the Lord, man. You know? So, this is a real quick update. Yahabashim Yahushua is making moves. So, with that, Shalom to the elect.